Oh, thank you. That was, that was amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, God. Hi, my name's Bambi and I'm a latex femboy. A latex femboy is the best way I could describe myself. Uh, femboy to me kind of says feminine boy, which is what I always saw myself as. I'm, I'm you know, male presenting, but I bring so many feminine traits into myself. And I definitely bring this when I'm going out clubbing in, in fetish spaces. And I just absolutely love wearing latex. So latex femboy was the best way to describe myself. When I started out, I actually kind of came into the mindset that because I'm a guy, I'm supposed to be in control. I'm supposed to be the top. And when I tried this out, I was just terrible. I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. I was not confident in myself at all. And I just didn't know where to go next. And I thought that this was gonna be a problem for a long time, but I found that I was just not putting my confidence in the right places. And I found that I could be confident in letting go and letting someone else take control and letting someone else decide for me what to do. And I found this absolutely freeing to give up all of my control to someone else was just the best thing I could ever do. And I've not really looked back. Probably, I was very curious about what it felt to wear something that wasn't wasn't very masculine. With masculine, it was very robust and strong and powerful, and that's just not how I felt inside. I wanted to try something else out that made me feel a bit more fragile, but also a bit more alluring and a bit more beautiful, which is something I'd never felt. So my first experience was very nervously going out and buying women's underwear and women's clothing and trying that on and especially trying trying to find the right heels was very difficult when you kind of don't want anyone to see that you're buying this stuff once i'd bought it i'd taken it home and i tried it out and i found that it was just it, it just felt so much better than what i'd been wearing before and then when i tried out latex where it's super tight and it feels it's just got this shiny gloss. I just absolutely loved it. I fell in love and I, with all the different designs that you could make, I just had to try out each and every one. I wish I did, but unfortunately I can't. My job kind of prevents me from doing that. Um, I try to bring as many feminine traits into my life as I can. I, I paint my nails as much as I can and I like to wear makeup and I wear feminine outfits that can still be sort of seen on a guy. Um, I wish I could be a femboy 24 seven. I wish I could wear skirts and I wish I could wear really pretty things um, and sort of be who I am inside. Um, but unfortunately, I'm just not really there yet. My favorite type would probably be cross-dressing uh, as that's kind of my main thing. I love it when I get to pick out different outfits, but I really like it when other people pick out outfits for me. When I've played with different people and they've kind of looked through my wardrobe or even given me items from their wardrobe for me to try out, it's, it feels incredible because not only is it that I'm feeling really good about myself, but I have someone else there looking at me and looking at me and seeing someone really beautiful and really gorgeous. And that just makes me feel absolutely incredible. Um, another type of play I really like is compliments. Um, I like to be called good boy or good girl. I d I'm not in really into um, humiliation. I, I like to be given rewards for being good and um, compliments really helps with that. Chastity is really interesting for me because not only is it the feeling of feeling caged and feeling that someone else is in control of my manhood, if you will, um, for me, it's that when I'm not, when I can't orgasm, I, my tension just builds up and up and up and I just get hornier and hornier and hornier. And for me, this is almost equivalent to orgasming, where, but over a really, really long time. So for me, it's, it's that constant build up and that constant feeling of like, I'm almost there, but I just can't. And then to have someone else be in control of me, in control of what desires I want and for me to sort of need to follow their orders if I want any kind of reward. It just feels really, really good.
It's kind of hard to say because to me, femboy can really mean anything. If someone says they're a femboy, they can be a femboy and it can be completely different to how I look. If anything, femboy has become a bit of a trend recently. I'd say a few misconceptions are that I am constantly like this. Unfortunately, I just can't constantly be feminine um, as much as I wish I could. So some, when people see me outside of this hood, um, I can look completely different. Um, but I wear, I wear this hood to hide my identity because of my job. Being with someone who I was very comfortable with, I've known a few doms um, in my time being in the kink community and they've all been so incredibly friendly to me and I've made friends out of every single one. So it would have to be with someone who I'm really, really close with and who knows me really well. And it would probably start with getting dressed up and looking really pretty and sort of doing my makeup and just having a bit of a giggle and a bit of a laugh. And then it would probably be getting kind of a bit down into things. I do really enjoy bondage. Um, Shibari especially, getting tied up, feeling a bit claustrophobic is really, really nice. Um, and then I also enjoy different types of, I enjoy wax play, I also enjoy electro play, kind of different punishments. Um, I'm not super into hard pain, I'm a bit of a wimp, so I can't exactly take caning. Um, but after that, we can chill out a bit, and if anything, we can go straight into a bit of pegging, which is probably one of my favorite types of play. Um, I really, really love the ro role reversal of it, power switch to kind of feel that I'm definitely not the one in control. Um, that is probably my favourite type. As much as I try to, I am stuck with buying women's latex because there isn't just, there isn't a huge amount of men's latex that is very feminine and there's not really much women's latex that allows a bit more space. Um, I have found a few designers who do custom and I always kind of give them the measurements to give me a bit more room uh, so that it's not too painful for me but I do enjoy looking at women's latex uh, especially dresses because they can fit me absolutely fine um, and hoods can fit me absolutely fine um, and I have bought um, crotch outfits before which have been fantastic there's there's some companies which um, do um, help with with trans women or any sort of uh, male presenting um, person who may need that extra little bit of space and they've been fantastic and I've ordered from them so much that's a really good question it's definitely developed over the years when I first started out it could kind of be anything really, um, especially when I was starting out wearing women's underwear could make me feel instantly feminine, uh, especially when I was wearing it under my clothes and no one really knew about it. I could wear dresses and I could wear heels. Um, and now it's, it's kind of the same, but now that I wear those things, they feel more like me. They don't make me feel um, well, they do make me feel feminine, but they don't make me feel like as if I'm a woman. They just make me feel like me. And so the things that I like to wear to clubs now, the big artistic outfits, uh, the hoods I wear, the big heels I wear and the, the big bright makeup, those are probably the main things that make me feel instantly feminine. Well, a pro dom can be a lifestyle dom and a lifestyle dom can be a pro dom. And I've played with several pro doms over the last few years and they're really people who uh, dominate someone in any way that they feel uh, they want to. And this, you can kind of look on Twitter or on their website. It's down to how they like to play. Um, you, so if you want to play with a pro dom, you have to kind of find one that matches you. With a lifestyle dom, that's someone who is a bit different to a pro dom because they don't focus on a single session, they focus on your um, kind of life, they focus on your day to day. Um, they could control anything from your fitness to uh, your diet to your work schedule. They could control chastity and give you different jobs to do throughout the day. Again, they're, con they're controlling your lifestyle and not just a specific set session. The lifestyle doms that I've played with, um, it's generally been about chastity and sort of um, catching up with them every few hours to do different jobs. 
um, but it's very different, the different types of play. My favorite place to shop would have to be Instagram, mainly because I've got all my friends on there who I've met through the kink community, different models and pro doms and just anyone who, anyone who likes latex like me. So I look through all of their accounts and I look at all the different sellers that they're buying from and they generally have Instagram accounts. And then I can look through and they've got all these different posts and I get to see which outfits that I like and see if it's on the website. But it's a great way to find independent sellers and small sellers, which I think are the best people to buy from because they're so personal in their outfits. It also means that I can kind of get, into con uh, get in contact with them and maybe make a custom order. This here is a custom order that my friend gave me. Um, and it means that it's just really easy to kind of get specifically what you want and it's helping out small sellers. In terms of inspiration, I'd say my friends inspire me. I wouldn't say there's any particular celebrity who inspires me. The people who I hang out with inspire me so, so much. I've got friends who give me huge amounts of inspiration from rave culture and cosplaying and also goth culture. And I try to bring that into my style as much as I can because these are the people who I love and they're always a part of me. So whenever I go out clubbing, I like to feel like I'm kind of myself, but I'm being a part of them as well.